of what constitutes freedom. As I reflect on today, every July 4th, I ask myself, where were we July 4th, 1776? Because that's what this is all about. This is a celebration of America for their independence from Europe, from Britain. That's what July 4th is. That's the meaning, that's the basis, that's the celebration. And I ask myself, where were we? Well, needless to say, we were enslaved. We were still being hung. We were still being shot. We were still being drowned. We were still being castrated. We were still being victimized by dogs. We were still being burned. That's where we were on July 4th, 1776. It was a hundred years later, 100 years later, none of us will, for the most part, will survive a hundred year sojourner. We will at best be alive, but we will not be actionable and operational for an entire hundred years. So we have to really look at, no matter how beautiful the dream is, what is the reality? When we look at our communities, what is the reality? When we look at the Trayvon Market Martin case, what is the reality? When we look at Diallo, what is the reality? We have to begin to look at the reality because if men and women refuse to change the factors of reality to make the dream a reality rather than sleeping on reality, hoping for the dream, then this generation will pass and another one will come and face the same problems that we face. This week, we've been talking about how to increase our momentum and determine the distance. So when we talk about our freedom, are we measuring the distance from where we are as a people to what freedom constitutes? We talked about some of the factors that will increase your momentum. The follow-up, the sealing the leaks, the aggressively moving to the next task, the strategic execution of what you do in order to ensure that momentum is protected. We talked about seeing the vision. You can't march aggressively towards something if you don't see what it is you are marching towards because trepidation, skepticism, reluctance, apprehensiveness comes often because you don't see, you don't believe, you don't feel what you're moving towards. Optimism is so critical because when you feel positive, you think positive. When you feel and think positive, you do positive. When you think and feel and do positive, you change things in a positive way. It's so important to be optimistic and have positive expectations. And another intangible that we often don't look at is having undying confidence in the team you're with because that's what makes you sacrifice. That's what makes you put it on the line. That's what makes you want to give yourself for the cause. You have undying confidence in the team. What is your confidence? What is your feeling? What is your attitude about the team? And when you begin to look at it from that perspective, you begin to measure the momentum you have. The momentum your team has, the momentum your community has, the momentum for the climate of change, because that's what it's really about, shaping the climate of change. How do we change the climate so that we don't feel victimized? I heard LeVar Burton on CNN last night talk about when he gets stopped by a cop, he puts his hands out of the window and lets them see his face so that they will decrease the probability they will shoot him for any excuse. And Tim Wise, who is a white man, was saying the sadness he felt that black people are often subjected to that level of insecurity and fear for their lives. So when we talk about free, we have to talk about what do we really feel versus what do we put a blanket over. Over to you, Kevin. I'd like to thank you today for listening to our morning inspirational message. For on a day like today, it's a day of reflection. A day like today, it's a day of evaluation. A day like today is a very intimate day to evaluate and to discern what you feel, where you are, what we do, 
how we do it. I'd like to thank you for calling in to this morning inspirational message. I'd like to thank you for viewing this morning inspirational message because in this message, this message of power, this message of truth, this message of inspiration, this message of transformation becomes opportunity. Opportunity for us to grow, opportunity for us to see, opportunity for us to evaluate, opportunity for us to discuss, and most importantly, opportunity and the precepts for healing. We'd like you to call a friend and a family member, call relatives, call co-workers, call those you interact with and shape the conversation towards growth and transformation. Begin to sit down with them and listen to the message. Begin to discuss the message. Change the focus of what we see, what we focus on, what we do, and what we believe towards things that's constructive, inspiring, and unlift uplifting. The beauty of this medium is that you can revisit this message and learn it, revisit it and evaluate it, revisit it and assess your thoughts, revisit it relative to conversations you've had so that the growth can continue to take place. There's a real elasticity in thinking of things that are valuable. They expand the mind. They allow you to regroup. They allow you to revisit. They allow you to get a new orientation, a new attitude and a new reality. Take a moment to log in to our YouTube channel. Leave a message, leave a comment, leave your views, your opinions, your suggestions, and your feelings as a result of what you heard. Because you wanna stand on the brink of what is coming. Feeling eager, feeling optimistic, and full of anticipation, with no spirit of doubt, unwillingness, and unworthiness, blocking your capacity to receive what is yours once you expect it, once you go after it, and once you demand it within yourself so that you can produce it in the external world. We look forward to bringing you this message of optimism, this message of positive expectations, this message of growth, this message of prosperity, this message of development. Have a great and fantastic day. Go out and make your life free, happy, and fulfilled. And touch the life of others with that beauty. Touch the light of others with that light. Touch the, the spirit of others and help them renew and grow and radiate and blossom their lives every day so that you, they, we, us can have a new day, a new reality, and a true feeling of freedom because we are now no longer subjected to circumstances and conditions that produce blight, pain, death, and independence, as well as insecurity. Open your mind, open your spirit, open your attitude, make a change for our lives, for your lives, for your family's lives, your baby's lives, and your community. I love you. I want to see us grow, and I know we can do it. This is your friend and brother, Brother Tambuzi, saying, have a great day, and see you next time.